Hello everyone, it's Carolyn McGee from carolynmcgee.com and I am doing the weekly energy reading a little bit late. Um, as people may have noticed, this is a little bit of a challenging week energy-wise and I have been having some problems with my computer. So here I am using an older one and being creative and improvising, but I promised I would get you the information every week and here it is. So... Um, cards I am using are Angels, Gods, and Goddesses, and let's see who's going to pop out for um, the rest of this week anyway, and maybe to confirm something that we we're already dealing with. Ah, oh, isn't she beautiful? So the card is called Angel of Joyfulness, and it's so fascinating to me the way that things just correlate and click. Um, I am working with some of the people at angelsteach.com, and we have decided that we are going to do a daily joy check-in. And um, every day, my partner and I text each other with what has brought us joy that day. And it really helps ground that energy into my energetic system and into my body and into my awareness. And um, even, the, like I mentioned, this has been a little bit of a challenging week for me. It has made such a huge difference for me being able to look at Joy. And look how beautiful she is. You're just arising up in all of the different chakra colors, being so open and vulnerable in, in her body and in her approach. And that has really helped me... Um, react differently than I might have in the past when I have had challenges like this. So uh, here I am giving you a little bit of advice. I suggest that um, you really find something to help you ground, find something that you can hold on to that's positive. Uh, do those gratitude statements, something that is going to help you move through this heavy energy. There is a lot of retrograde um, planets out there and it it can be challenging but it will be so much easier for you if you find that little bit of light to hold on to so until next week bye bye for now